What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back with another video. So I just got back from the gym, so I'm pretty tired. You know, I've been so busy all day today, but we're still putting out content for y'all because I love y'all and that's what we do. So today, you guys, I want to talk about living your life. Honestly, living it and really being present in it. You know, we're so blinded by every single day just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I heard this quote, I think Prince had said, you know, don't control social media. Do not let social media control you. When you consume too much, you forget who you are and you start to mimic a lot of things that other people do, you know. And when you become your own ver or your own self, the more you start to realize, I want to be me. I don't want to be anybody else. I just want to be me. And you stop relating to so many things and so many people and you just become your own version, right? You know, I've noticed that the more that I stop scrolling and put my phone down and just go live my life and go do things I do in my life, the more focused I am, the more present I am in my life and being present in everything is just so soothing and amazing and it has been feeling wonderful to feel present again. You know, I've been so lost in my head and my just my thoughts that I really haven't had the time to really be present in my life. And I'm not only speaking to myself, but I'm speaking to anybody else who has been feeling out of place, you know? And I just wanna let you know that Learning to be present in your life is a huge key on happiness, inner happiness. Because when you're present, you're not worried about all the BS that's going around you. You're not worried about everybody's drama. You're not worried about what's going on with this and this and that. You're just worried about your own life and what's going on in your life. You get what I'm saying? What's important will be important to you. But what doesn't matter does not matter to you. You get what I'm saying? You got to be able to focus on yourself. And in that moment of presence, learn to, to enjoy that very moment. Enjoy the little things too. Enjoying the little things is so beautiful. You know, I when I go sit down and meditate every single morning, I go sit down and I just look at all the beautiful trees in my backyard and I'm like, wow. It is so beautiful to wake up every single day and to see this beautiful scene. And that is the small things that I'm just so grateful for. To breathe in this air, you know, to be able to walk. And when you're present like that, the more blissful life feels because you're less so worried about the things that really don't matter, like bills, everything like that. You get what I'm saying? The more you worry about, I mean, they're always gonna be there. So you're always gonna be wearing. If you learn how to not worry about those, know that they're always gonna be there. Stressing will not help your financial just you know it's not going to help you stressing about it won't help you just act on it do what you got to do but if you stress about it the more you're just it's just gonna it's gonna really take over you so much i realize that and that's why i've learned even when bad things happen when bad things come my way i'm like okay because i feel like everything happens for a reason i can either take this as a learning lesson i can take this as a good positive try to find something good in it or I can sit there and dwell into every negative thought and let my thoughts win and let my negativity win and just sit in sorrow and be sad and mad all day and then watch my day go by. I miss little moments. I miss little blisses of happiness, little little you know moments of happiness. And I, I miss those very important parts because I was so in my head. I was so focused on what's going on and how bad my life is. I forgot to be grateful for the small things that are coming around me. And that's how you get distracted. That's how you get consumed by negative emotions and negative thoughts and negative feelings. Do not let those control you. Let them pass like air, like water, like it comes in waves. Let it go as well. You know, if you stick with it, if you try to hold on to something for too long, eventually you're going to burst. And all those emotions are going to come up. All that anger, all that resentment, everything's going to come up. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about, being present in your life, learning to be present in your life. It is important life skill to learn is to be present in everything you do, whether that's with your kids, whether that's with the things that you need to get done, whether with, that's your fitness goal, whether that's your health, your physical health, whether it's your mental health. 
however you want to see that into your life, however it resonates into your life, take it as it resonates. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for being in my like life, you know, because even though I make YouTube videos, I read your guys' comments or I see that you guys viewed it and I really appreciate the people who are consistent with me and watch my videos and you guys are amazing. My camera cut off so I said you guys are amazing and I appreciate everything you guys, you know, do by just watching me. You're helping me succeed. Anyways, here's the end. So I can't wait to come with more and more content and I'll talk to you guys later.